Welcome to Madison HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. I'm here with volleyball coaches Lauren and Casey Steinbrecher. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Keep laughing. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> it's been an exciting season for the Dukes heading into the CA tournament. What are your overall thoughts on the 2015 season? Uh, it's been fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. this team's worked. Uh, they play for each other. It's just so much fun working with a team that wants to get better every day. I mean, we got kids who always ask us, can we come in early? Can we work on this? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, seeing it for the seniors, they, they've worked so hard the yeah. past four years. So it's it's been a really fun <laughs> season um, working with these kids, you know, that, that we get to pick and we get to work with them every day because of their personalities. And not, not only the success they've had on the court, just the quality of people that they are. Um, and so whether we're training or we're on a bus trip, or having breakfast, whatever the case is. It's been a really, really fun year. You will have three new Dukes joining in the 2016 season, Michaela White, Briley Brindamore, and Sarah Martin. Talk about each of these, starting with Michaela. Uh, Michaela is actually our most recent commitment. She's, she's fantastic. Uh, we're, we're really st still getting to know her, uh, but you know, as soon as the recruiting part process started, we really enjoyed her. She's you know, humble, but very confident. Um, she's a leader, high school captain. You know, for her team and all of her teammates respect her very much uh, because of her ability to be humble. But, you know, she, she's 6'5". She's very athletic. Um, she's going to be doing great things here. And, you know, I think her teammates respect her because of the work she puts in. She's not a prototypical, you know, back row player, but she's going to go to the floor just as hard and with as much effort as, you know, a 5'6 libero. So the kids love that. And the thing I, I love most about Michaela is her work ethic and her determination to get better and to do whatever it takes to, to be in the gym and to go hard and to take her game to a whole new level. And um, by, by, by the time she's a junior or senior in this program, it's going to be scary. And the second new Duke will be Briley mm -hmm. Brindamore. Yeah, Briley, we've actually been watching since early her sophomore year. I think yeah. January, the first tournament, is where we, uh, <clears throat> we really got to get a good evaluation on her. And... And getting to know her has been great. She's uh, she's attended a couple camps, and you know she she was always ahead of her class with her volleyball skills yeah. and and court awareness and IQ. Um, she was hitting shots that first year that you know a lot of D one athletes have trouble hitting right now. So <laughs> she's she's going to be good, and she's a complete all around player. Six rotations, ball control, you know, just the the complete package is really going to fill a hole that you know um, Megan Niski would be leaving behind. Mm -hmm. You know, she's she's that type of player. And I think every every successful team has that player, kind of that that ball control outside that can terminate, can pass, can dig, can block, is a great leader, has a steady personality, but is a competitor. Um, and I and I think the person to best compare her to is Megan Niski. And obviously Niski's had so much success in this program, so we're very excited to get Briley here. Yeah, and she's a four-time North Carolina state champion in two different classes, and yeah. she's, she just carries a quiet confidence about her. Yeah. And the final Duke will be Sarah Martin. Uh, <laughs> we laugh because she's a goofball. And she's I think crazy. The three, of the, three of the words that come to mind is goofball, very, very positive, mm -hmm. and then extremely talented player. Um, she's a setter. Uh, she's going to come in and attempt to fill the hole that Sarah Patterson is going to be leaving behind. Um, if she's not on the court immediately, she's going to be pushing our returners very hard, and they're only going to get better faster because of, of this talent coming in. Um, she's, she's always got a story. And there's always a punchline to the story, too. But, uh, but she, And sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're not. Yeah. <laughs> but she also is a leader. Uh, you know, she just took her, uh, helped her team get to the Florida State Championship and won that one um, just last weekend. So yeah. another champion coming into the program. But we are very excited to have her. And, 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 again, I mean, all these kids have great families, too. So, you know, we're looking forward to being having them be a part of our family at, in the long run. And one of the things, you know, especially with Sarah, I love in the setter position is she's a loose competitor. So she knows how to fight. She knows how to go hard, but she's not going to be tense and frantic and freaking out um, at any point in the match. And I think, you know, obviously we've had a lot of success with Sarah Patterson this year, and I think she's very similar um, in that regards. But, but Martin's going to go hard and work hard, and uh, we're, we're certainly excited to get her training. And with four seniors graduating and 12 returners for the 2016 season, how do you think they'll affect the team dynamic? Um, so we recruit personality just as much as we recruit volleyball players. And, you know, we, these four personalities, I'm sorry, three personalities coming in, uh, we are positive that they're going to fit right into this program. And a lot of that has to do with we had fantastic leadership this year um, from all four of our seniors here. And they've done a great job of handing that leadership down and training our future leaders in our program. And that culture is just going to continue to get passed down. 
Uh, and so with these four personalities, I keep saying four, <laughs> it's three personalities <laughs> coming in, um, we're going to have, you know, they're, they're going to mesh very well. And the dynamics are going to just keep continuing. Mm -hmm. And how is it recruiting for JMU being at such a successful program in school? Um, as a recruiting coordinator, I actually have a ton of work. I mean, JMU is the most applied to school in Virginia, but our strong academics, our beautiful campus, and our fantastic people, I mean, they just naturally draw people here anyways. And then when we have a strong year and, and successful volleyball program, we get a ton of interest. Uh, I have a lot of fun getting to know all of the recruits, whether they come here or not. Um, often we're checking in on them afterwards in their college, collegiate careers at different yeah. schools just to see how they're doing. We want them all to be successful. Um, but of course, only a few, select few, can come you know, play here with us, depending on our needs and our personalities and our matches and that kind of stuff. So while it is a lot of work, it's a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and I tell you, though, if, if kids come and visit, they, they always fall in love with the campus. You know, it's, it's, and it's not just the campus, it's the people. It's absolutely the people here at JMU. And that's why we are, we're still here. We love JMU. Um, it's the people we work with and the kids we have on our team. And, and our support staff is just so fantastic. It's, you know, that's, we, we had a recent recruit here um, just, you know, within a week. And she's like, wow, the people are fantastic. These girls are so welcoming. You know, your support staff's willing to go out of their way to come meet with me and, and talk to us and, you know, spend all this time with her and take that time out of their day. So it, it's a fantastic atmosphere here. And I love that we can get the players that we want. Um, we don't have to, oh, take this person because she's fourth on our list. Or We can really find not only the volleyball player we want, but the personality and the character and the family um, that we want to bring into our family. And that makes a big difference when you look at student-athlete experience and the potential for success in the future. And so that's something that we really look at in recruiting, and I think that JMU offers us the opportunity to get that. Well, Lauren and Casey, we are very excited to wrap up this 2015 season, but also looking ahead to the 2016 season. And thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Thank Kelly. you.